let us be in silence, let each of us in our hearts reflect on this past week and this past while. And if there's anything that we've said or thought or done of which we're not proud, let us in silence confess that to God. Um, and if God has been calling us to some new challenge, uh, to stand up for some group that does not yet have a voice, to stand up for ourselves when we're fearful, let us pray that the God who gives us the call will also give us the strength and the courage uh, to answer. Let us be in silence. Thank you, God, for hearing the prayers of our hearts as well as the prayers of our lips. Please answer them in your time and your way. We pray all things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please stand as you're able for the words of assurance and the peace and the response. Here these for their words that you may trust. Some of us as far as east is from west. That's how far God has our sins from us. And the Lord Jesus Christ says, For God so loved the world that he gave his Son that whoever believes should not perish but have eternal life. For God sent the Son into the world not to condemn the world, not to condemn anyone, but that all the world through him might be saved. This is the great good news of the gospel. We're forgiven people. We're given God, the Holy Spirit, God on the inside, for a fresh and a clean start today and every single day of our lives. Thank you to God for this great and wonderful and amazing and happy good news. Amen. Amen. With that in mind, the peace of Christ is always with you. And also with you.